What would you say if I told you that I think something much worse is coming? Something that will change everything. Just to put things into perspective, look around you, your surroundings, your local area, and look at your country, look at the world. What will it look like a thousand years from now? Well, most people would say, well, there will be lots of robots and flying cars, and, and some people say, well, we, there won't be any humans. Uh, Well, I don't know, but maybe it's it's easier to to uh, imagine how things will be 100 years from now. What about 50 years from now? What about 10 years from now? Five years? One year? You see, things around us is always changing and we are changing as humans as well as individuals but it's very naive to think that things will remain the same um, it's just not how the world works and if you keep that in mind you also need to know that change historically speaking sometimes change happens slowly sometimes it happens very fast drop a nuclear bomb on a down into a country and you win a war right um, a plague comes a proper plague and kills half the population. The helicopter is back. If you look behind me now... I don't know if you can see this. That's the helicopter um, they use when they uh, when when there's an accident, people have drowned and things like that. So change can be brutal, and change I don't like this. It's very local. It's too close. It's right over there. I don't like this. So, <clears throat> we can establish as a fact that change is part of the world and change sometimes happens rapidly. And we are in a uh, time period in history with rapid change and I've talked about this before um, we are moving from a, uh, a, a kind of society with lots of individual freedom to a kind of society with much less freedom and um, a lot more power on the hands of the few that was quick they are heading towards the hospital now <clears throat> in the helicopter I don't know what happened there but I hope whoever that was that he or she will be fine but okay 
I think it's very difficult to argue against the fact that we are now in a much less free society than we were two years ago. And it's it's very difficult to deny that a lot more power has been grabbed <laughs> or put in the hands of um, very few individuals. There's a lot more power, even more power now, on the hands of certain people involved in Big Pharma, certain politicians with, a, uh, with an obvious lust for power. And um, that's not a good thing. And also, it's not a, something, it, there's nothing new about it. We have seen this before, up through history, and we are now entering a time period of, you know, I think, I think we could actually say that we are witnessing the death of democracy or the democratic system. Um, would be more correct to say, I guess. There are people saying that, well, these, uh, you know, I won't mention the names here because that will get me in trouble on a certain social media platform. But certain people are sitting in a room plotting and uh, making plans. And uh, that is certainly the case. You know, you can't deny that. And But also, there's nothing new about that. Those people and other people as well have been doing that for a long time. But anyway, <clears throat> I think something bigger, something much more devastating is coming. I don't necessarily think that it will happen according to the plans of certain people. I think it's more, we're talking about uh, a, a natural development here. Something is coming and I have this eerie feeling that it will be overshadowing the whole pandemic. And then people will much more willingly accept rules and restrictions, mandates, or at least that's what certain people in power or power-hungry individuals are thinking. And I'm not saying they will be bringing this much bigger thing. <laughs> um, they might, but it might also happen in a just as a natural consequence of the recent developments. Lots more people will accept to have their freedoms totally taken away. What what was left of it, if anything was left, and they will change that for safety or what they think is safety. So I guess the big question is. What can we do about this? Uh, lots of people, uh, I see this in the comments to my videos, uh, when I talk about this, lots of people, they have this defeatist attitude. Well, we must just lie down and die. We can't do anything about this. It goes against everything I believe in. But um, because there are certainly are things we can do. We need to be self-reliant, self-sufficient, because you know what? Look around me. Yeah, I'm standing in a cornfield. Not, sorry. We, we say corn <laughs> in Norwegian. It's not maize, like that kind of corn. Um, I'm surrounding by, surrounded by woods. People have been living off the land since the dawn of time. We could do that. Is that so far-fetched? Is it? Is it really? And more and more people are now saying, I won't be part of this. I won't be part of this new 
system that are being that is being implemented now. I just won't be a part of it. I'm one of those people. Why would I accept following rules made by other people in return for I don't know sitting there in a box watching images on a box why would I do that? The, the, out here is where the world is this is the real world Is that really so extreme, what I'm saying now? Is it really so terrible? You know what? Might even be better for the climate. <laughs> Might even be better for mental health. For children. Yeah, what about the children? To the parents watching this. Where do you think your children will be happiest? In a uh, Klaus Schwab style smart city? In a flat there? Or out here? I think the answer is quite obvious. Okay. That's all I wanted to say today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing. YouTube is deleting subscribers from my channel every day. <laughs> Thank you, YouTube. <laughs> um, so do check if you are still subscribed. Um, but if you're not, I guess you're not watching this because then you won't get the notification either. So there's that. Okay. Yeah. Have a wonderful day. Stay strong. <laughs>